Hey guys, welcome to this Python series for beginners. This is the 20th part in the series, and in this one we're going to talk about another kind of data structure. So previously we've talked about lists and tuples, but in this one we're going to be talking about dictionaries, which are just a different way of being able to store data in Python. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. I'm going to call my dictionary person, and the way that you define a dictionary in Python is with the curly brackets. So with a list, you remember you separate the data between commas and we're still going to be doing that in a dictionary but it's going to look a little bit different so I'm going to show you uh, let's say this person has a name and I'm going to separate that with a colon and then I'm going to give it a name so let's just say max and then I'm going to use the comma so what this is is a key value pair and basically it creates a link between the name and that data uh, called the value. So in this case the key is name and the value is max and that is the value that is associated with the key in this dictionary. So I'm just going to go and add another one and I'm going to say age and I'm going to use a colon again and I'm going to say 18 and that's uh, valid syntax in Python to be able to define that dictionary. So we can type in person and we can see that it's stored the dictionary as I've typed it but this is not going to be something that is a given so unlike a list a dictionary is unordered so it doesn't store data in a particular order so you can't guarantee that name this item in the dictionary is going to be stored before age because it could quite easily flip around and we, we simply don't know if it is going to do that or not. So you can't use an index with a dictionary like you can with a list saying you know 0 and 1 and 2 referring to those sort of elements in that order because you can't guarantee the order. So the way that we get the data out of this dictionary is we can say person and then instead of saying 0 or 1 or 2 or what, whatever the case might be for a list we're going to use the name of the key. So in this case it would be age or, or it would be name. So let's go ahead and get the age. And then that returns the value that is associated with that age. Hopefully that makes sense. So how would you go about adding a data item to this dictionary? Well with a list it was very, it was very easy because you could just do list.append and then the item that you wanted to append. But with a dictionary you've actually got the key and the value to add. So instead of just adding one bit of data, you've got to add effectively two. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to say person and then in the square brackets we're going to actually put the key that we want to add. So I'm going to say height and then instead of saying colon here and then putting it there, I'm going to say is equal to and I'm going to say the value which I want to be associated with that key in the dictionary. Remember it knows to store it in the person dictionary because I've said person here. So I'm going to say 185 and then I'm going to output person again. So you can see that it's output person and height has been added to the dictionary and if you remember what I said about it being an unordered data structure well this is exactly what I mean because with a list it would be appended to the end of the list. So you'd see name, age, height. But because it's unordered you can't guarantee that and in fact this is demonstrated by the fact that it's just chucked height right into the middle of this dictionary. So that's really one thing to sort of bear in mind, that's a key difference between a list and a dictionary other than the obvious fact that it's got a key and a value or key value pairs. So that's sort of the basics on dictionaries in Python and in the next ones we're going to be talking about using files and trying to write text to a text file using Python.